everybody. I'm going to make some gouache paint today and I thought you might like to see how it's done. So join me. This is my palette of paints that I've already made. But there's still a few spaces I need to fill up. It's a good little palette because it's practically airtight. All I do is if I haven't painted this week, which is unheard of, I just take the lid off and spray it with distilled water. Let's put that to the side. So what else do we need to make gouache? We need pigment. I'm using Art Spectrum pigments. The way that I get gouache to be opaque without using a filler like chalk is I did some research on these pigments first and found the ones that were the most opaque. The blues were all semi-opaque, that's okay. And I have a couple of transparent colors, which I mix with titanium white, which is very opaque to make nice other colors. So today I'm going to mix a bluey green. Um, honey, because um, it's an ancient mis mixture for gouache. They use honey and I like honey. If you're vegan and you don't wish to use honey, you can use glycerin, which I also use a drop of. And then the most important ingredients are gum arabic a little more and the same amount of distilled water you can use distilled or filtered water. You can even boil water and let it cool and use that. I used to do this on a flat plate, a glass plate, but I found that I'm just putting a drop of preservative in. On the flat plate I found that it, uh, the water ran everywhere, all the liquids ran everywhere and I didn't have as much control as I do using a bowl. So I got a bowl, nice white bowl that shows me exactly what I'm mixing. Sorry about the squeaky noises. Talking about noises, I'm doing this right next to my Avery where my macaw lives. So I'm hoping that he doesn't screech while we're doing it. Once he gets started, it's a bit hard to stop him. That's titanium white. This is zinc white, which isn't so um, opaque, but I just want to mix the two for this. I'm hoping for a color that will be nice for the ocean. love this blue. Everybody who comes across it loves this blue. I'll write the name down in the description because once again I can't pronounce it but there it is. And just a touch of yellow. I could have added green. I want to see what this does first. I can always add more of anything later. So now the spoon, I'll just mix all those together and we'll see what we've got. Well that blue is very strong so definitely needs more yellow. Oh hang on, as it mixes with the fluid the yellow comes out into a nice green which I will keep stirring in the blue and maybe we'll have the colour I want after all. It's all a bit of a game, mixing different colours together and you could do this with just primaries on your palette of course but it's nice to have enough different colours and as you can see that 
is much too green even though the blue seemed very strong at first. I'll just put the yellow away so we don't accidentally add any more of that and add a little more blue. My palette holds quite a bit of paint as well, so. And I'm going to add some more titanium white because I don't want it to get too dark. And I'm going to need more of this soon, it's almost empty. And here we go with the fluids again, honey. Distilled water. gum arabic in approximately equal measures I'm not going to add any more preservative actually doesn't need preservative because honey is a natural preservative and the pigments aren't something that really go off uh, if you get synthetic pigments I believe they go off more but uh, I'm not sure on that and it already has a drop in it, so. Note to self, that yellow is very strong. And add a bit more fluid, more water. A bit more gum arabic. This is the way I cook as well. A little bit of this, a little bit of that until you get what you want. That feels more like wash. Nice and creamy. Now let's get all this blue up. Now if you'd like to subscribe to my channel you could come back in a couple of days and I might have the next one up which will be me swatching these paints and then doing a painting like that that's a nice ocean greeny blue don't you think alright and put it with my other greeny blues and my greens. I have a tremor, you might notice, which sort of doesn't keep my palette real clean. So there's today's paint. And now all that is left is cleaning up, which isn't hard at all. Just make sure that you don't take your mask off until you've put all your pigments away. You don't want to be breathing any of it in. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.